Well, it is National Marine Week and we're getting yummy out here with a beautiful braai and some really good fish that is also good for our oceans. We've got Chris Caston in our studio. He works for Sassy. That's you right. like have the Sassy pocketbook in your head. So we're cooking with yellowtail and dillo. How do we know that this fish is sustainable? Well, I know that it's on the green list, but for everyone else out there, I think it's important that they either grab a pocket, a pocket guide um, or they can, it can be as simple as really sending the name of the fish to the SMS number. Um, Sassy sends you an immediate response and tells you where the, whether it's on the green list, good to go, orange, maybe think twice or red, avoid entirely. Okay. The number there I think is 079-499-8795. So you okay. just send yellowtail, you that get a response. Right okay, well yeah. super. This is a, a Woolworths yellowtail with dill and lime. It comes yes. out of a bag. We know that this is sustainable. <laughs> okay. So how are you going to prepare this? So we're going to put this on the braai, but one or, two, one or two tricks maybe that I can share with you when you're braying fish. So this has already got a marinade on it. We don't need to do much to it. Right. But generally fish tends to stick to the grid. So we can add a little bit of oil onto the grid to prevent it sticking. But one of my favorite tricks is to put down a couple of lime slices, fish on top with the skin side on that, fry it, then it's much easier to take off. Usually when I put lime slices on, my fish tastes a little bit bitter. What am I doing wrong? Well, maybe don't put them on the flesh side, put them on the skin side. Ah, then that way it won't make it as bitter. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. All you right. see? <laughs> okay, so we get that in there. Of yep. course, you can recreate this recipe at home as well. Uh, we'll give you that keyword. In fact, it's fish. Fish to 33728, uh, and you can make yeah. this at home. I'll just keep this here. Great. I'm, I'm going to need the cloth that's underneath. No problem. You Thank can you. have the cloth. Okay, what are we going to do next? Okay, so next we just put the grid on top. I need to know close how. it up. Okay. Show me how. Okay, I've also, it's the first time I've used one of these. Ah, don't worry, so there's a lot of help around. Here we go. Fantastic, so we're on. And then... Do you put it, I see, skin okay. side, the... No, 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 so we're gonna do the flesh side first. Really? Yes, just brown it a little bit. The coals are nice and hot. So get a bit of colour on that, seal it so we don't lose too much moisture. Right. And then we flip it around and we cook it through the skin. So listen, fish is always mm. a tricky thing. I, I bought a fish the other day and I actually yep. put it in the oven just because I want to check it the whole time. Uh, what tips can you give me in terms of brying fish? I mean, when is it ready? So probably one of the most important things when you're brying fish, irrespective of your technique, is that you shouldn't be overcooking it. Right. So a rule of thumb, if you okay. think the fish needs another one or two minutes on the coals, it's time to take it off. <laughs> it's time to take it off. Oh, okay. I'd rather uh, have it undercooked than overdone. What else can you tell me? I mean, you just said you, you put lime slices on the bottom to make sure that it doesn't stick. Yes. Okay, so you obviously also just want to make sure that your charcoal is completely burnt. So it's okay. got this sort of white... Um, Ours was, but our Cape Town weather is, uh, well, very windy today. So yeah. every now and then it lets up some beautiful fire. Yeah. <laughs> so the fire's not too much of a problem. Yeah. But if it, if it hasn't burnt to the sort of white stage, then you get... You get quite a nasty taste on your, on your food. Oh, but flame no one enjoys fun. that. <laughs> flame rolled is fun. Yeah. You certainly don't want that kerosene taste. That's not get it all. Okay, so we just heard it. If you think it needs a minute or two, it's probably ready to come off and mm -hmm. it doesn't need anything more. Uh, yeah. What else can you tell me about um, fish? I mean, this one came ready marinated. Can you make your own uh, sauce? Because then surely you can control the taste, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so I think it's good to experiment with your food. It's good to experiment with sauces and you can tailor them um, to what you like best, what you'd like to serve to all your guests. Okay. So although we've got a pre-marinated fish, we're going to be making our own sauce to accompany it today. Uh, so okay. we're going to make a light dill sauce to sort of mirror the marinade that it's in. I didn't even know we're making a sauce. Come, let's get what into it. What did you think all of these for? How there do we, we go. make this? Okay, so okay. a little bit of yogurt. Little, right. Could you pass me the mayonnaise? Okay, uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, there we go. So, so we're what's gonna this? Add yogurt, mayonnaise? Yeah, this okay, is plain yogurt, a little yeah. bit of mayonnaise. What else goes in there? Okay, we've got some finely chopped spring onions. Spring onions. Which is why I love coming to cook with you guys because everything is chopped so beautifully and it's up, all prepared. There's so much happening on the show. Come We're done. Dill goes in. It's Dill as easy as in. this. A little bit of uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of that salt there. A little there bit of salt. 100%. Oh, it smells good. Dill is Look a good that. spice, eh? You call it, it a spice. A herb. A herb, sorry. Yes, yeah. you're right. A herb. Okay. And then last but not least, let me do this one. Yeah. I'm going to grab this lemon. I want to see what you do to it. And we're just Every time I squeeze, ah, you keep your hand over it. Yes. Why do you get pips in all the time? Yeah, uh, I do. Idea. See, idea. But we, Pips in all the time, no, bits of fish. Chris, that's why we... It's a little bit of a disaster for you. <laughs> that's why we cook with chefs, so that we can learn how to do this. Our keyword for this morning is fish. Fish to 3378, so that you can recreate these recipes at home. We're making our own fish sauce. When would right. you put this on? Would so you... we're just, we're just going to serve that with the fish once it's done. So right, have right, a look right. over here. Look at Nicely you. Nicely browned, and now we're going to cook it through the skin. We've got our millies going. Maybe we should brush those with a little bit of butter. So you brush it with a little bit... Could you brush it with a bit of oil? Do you mix the two ever? Yeah. I prefer butter on the millies. I think that's yeah. I think that's good. It gives a good flavour. Um, okay, I'm mixing this too. Fantastic. Give really it a bit good. of a taste. What do you think? Does it need a bit more salt? No, it's perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. So now we just have to wait well, for the fish to cook. Well, we're cooking with fish. Sustainable fish. It is SA Marine Week. Chris mm -hmm. is brying. He's going mad. This is how we got to this point. Arrange lime slices on the grid. 
brush fish with olive oil, then place onto the limes skin side down. Combine mayo, yogurt, spring onions, lemon juice, dill and seasoning. Serve fish with sauce on the side. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword FISH to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Moby site. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. Okay, so you heard it, fish to 33728. This is our finished product. It looks amazing. It's beautiful. We're going to leave that fish on the grill for a little bit, right? I think so. We've got one that's already prepared over here. What we might do is just add a milli onto this. So let's move that a little bit. One of our millies to serve with that. There we go. There we go. And we've got Fantastic. our sauce that's ready to serve as well. Fish Absolutely. to 33728. Chris, thanks so much for joining us this morning and giving Always us some pleasure. details on how to do this. It looks and it smells delicious. Well, with a little bit of exercise or food, you're going to need a little bit of exercise too. It is the school holidays and we need our kids to get involved and get active. In fact, we're going to let them get active with some kids' yoga. Gray has more.